Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True and I'm going to show you a great free download that I've created for you on helping you track your weight because I know I've put on a few pounds and needed to start doing this with a dashboard template chart that I can actually see my progress, see what my targets are, and I uh, wanted to chart that in Excel. So created this great spreadsheet. Um, you want to go, uh, this is the instructions page, but you want to go to the weight detail page. You want to enter in your height in inches. You can enter in your target zone, which becomes the blue line over in the chart. And that's my minimum and maximum. And then you can enter every single day, week, month, uh, different intervals, however you want to add when you track your weight. You can add it to this chart. And Excel will keep building your chart for you, keep adding new lines, and keep adding new data points without you doing a single thing. Now this template is built in Excel 2007. So you'll need that version for this download. Another version of this chart will come out in Excel 2003 in the future. Uh, so the current weight is the red line, the target is the blue band, and the normal BMI is the green band. So, and it keeps expanding for every date or weight you enter. Let's show you uh, what I mean. Click on the weight detail tab, and then up here in this section, we're gonna enter my height in inches. I am six foot three, so in inches, uh, that is going to be 73 inches. Nope, that's six foot one. I'm not six foot one, but we'll use that as our uh, our amount we're going to put in. So, uh, where what does this relate to? This relates to the BMI table, which is the body mass index. You can find more about that on my website a little bit as well. Uh, there's a normal range for a six foot one person from 19 to 24. This is for adults greater than or equal to 20 years old, and the normal range right there is. 19 to 24. So uh, it has thrown my minimum and maximum normal BMI range uh, in for my six foot one height. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, we're going to enter in the target weight. What do I want to be? Uh, let's say between 175 and 185. And so it's going to start calculating some of the data, but we don't have it all. We to get the rest of the data for our chart. Um, we will need to add in weights in B2 with a date in A1. So let's go over to A1. Put in today's date, 831.11. Put in current weight of 216 pounds. And then let's go ahead and put in another date when I took my next weight capture, which was 9-1 of 11. And uh, let's say I was 214 pounds. Uh, you can see it's added some data on there for the BMI low range targets and other bands. Now let me zoom out. Keep adding, adding some dates. We've got September 2nd for 213 pounds. We don't have to go day by day. I hear at the end of September, uh, or let's do September 15th, put an interval date in there, 209 pounds. Uh, 10 1 you can see we're not doing every week every other week you can put the dates in and the chart will build itself based on the time frames uh, and it'll throw it in day by day if you want you can do it monthly daily yearly however you want to track it over on the right we've got some I've lost 21 pounds to date I have a weight loss of 10 pounds since my last weigh-in uh, about 21 pounds for my current start date with a little green checkbox we can format this graph and make it a little bit more tight. Um, so let's change the minimum on the y-axis. I right-clicked on it. I'm going to change the fixed value uh, to 130 from 90. And uh, so that gets a little tighter in there. If I want, I could also change the maximum by right-clicking on the horizontal, I mean the vertical axis, clicking on fixed for maximum, change it to 220. And uh, look, the range is a little bit tighter, so it, uh, it, it's not showing as much white space. You can actually click on the line and see your different data points and how much I weighed at certain dates. Here's the target range band in blue and uh, the BMI range in green with the weight as a red line. So we can just keep entering data and our chart just keeps building itself. No, no need to highlight a range. It's going to keep adding the data points as we need them. Very simple, very easy. Uh, and if you want, you also have a bigger chart that's going to capture the same information. So if you'd like to print it out on its own sheet, uh, but remember we changed these axes. Let's go ahead and right click on it, format axis, change the minimum from 90 to, let's go 140 to get a little closer to the BMI range. And uh, here we've got a great chart we can just print all by itself. So I can 
post that on my wall and keeps that as a goal or a reminder. And uh, we can go back and just enter more dates on the weight, date, weight detail table and just keep adding points. January 31st, 2012, hopefully I'm down to 180, getting my BMI target range. So this is Steve True with Excel dashboard templates.com you can learn wonderful techniques to build your own dashboard templates like this one and download free sample files free tutorial files so this file is available at excel dashboard templates.com hopefully uh, you can start your weight loss journey along with me this is the one I'm going to be posting uh, from time to time out on the website and you can see uh, how my progress is going so once again you can download this template at excel dashboard templates.com